hello viewers and subscribers welcome once again my new screencast this this will be the the screencast for based on the based on the geo functionalities i mean those who are interested to develop the uh, softwares as like arcgis software or or udic or grass gis software I mean the desktop software, desktop GIS software or web GIS software. That's why I try to to give it to you some 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 my development tools that I did last couple of years, and I try to share with you the those uh, those software tools with you. And then uh, these software tools you can start from the very beginning level. Uh, as like uh, as a, you are the students also can integrate or can, can can learn those those software and technologies and framework and libraries for the development even though uh, the professionals can also integrate those uh, those software tools for their daily developments you if you saw the the the, the presentations look like you see the java and then there's a geo tools and then there's a jiddle this is the 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 java java based uh, um, libraries the apis you can use these apis and build the the gis softwares so that means those who are interested to develop the the java based gis software doesn't matter uh, is it software based on the desktop or is doesn't matter is based on the web uh, gis software that means uh, that means the as a developer if you are think about the 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 arc gis softwares it's many many developer are working with this software to develop this one maybe this is software written by the c or c dot net or visual basic for for other software maybe the qdic or geo tools or other other java based uh, uh, arc gis software application is available still there what I am trying to do here, how the Java and Java Swing uh, uh, based ArcGIS software development can be can be can be can be learned or can be developed or can be can be extended the the existing software tools. That's why this is the really most important uh, tutorial I can say the most important learning for the for the arc and the gis java based gis software developments so you need to be uh, you have to be understand the basic java and even though the understanding of the basic java swing and then you know already the gis in theoretically and then you need to learn about the geo tools and even though the the geospatial and um, geospatial databases means you have a relational databases and then relational database has a lot of extension for the geo functionality the spatial extension like postgis database is so the postgis database there is extension for post gis as a gis extension oracle itself has a uh, oracle spatials and the mysql also the spatial and sql light and they have also the the spatial sql light for the geo functionalities if you see the pictures i have already i have three written uh, the three projects and three software tools is written here you see the arcgis softwares and then arc GIS tools and this and then JDL tools. For I will show you every software tools how how I start the development, how can you integrate it, how can you you build this this GUI and do these functionalities with the with your your requirement or your specifications. I mean this is the development your own development your customized development that means when you are working in the company or it doesn't matter or, or research institute you can write down your own software tools to to manipulate your 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 geo geo functionalities or geo data or, or to visualize your data you can write your own software tools that's the idea i try to share with you to, to how can you start uh, to develop the geo geo software tools doesn't matter is it geo software tool from the desktop based or web based but you need to learn uh, from the very beginning to the, uh, the professional levels so i mean uh, just concentrate the tutorial i will continue that one up to the development and you can get it clear idea what i mean how can you start these developments so this is the one of the pictures one of the screen 
uh, UI for my uh, the existing development. I already started the development. I will show you later how it started the development. And if you go to the 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 second picture, the, the here is the my map styling tools. I I already wrote it down, and I got this from the source code from the from the Geo Tools Labs, and I integrated, I customized these tools into the my my software tools written by Java. So you see that you have a styling possibility, and you can have the the color maps, and even though you have the info info levels and and you can zoom in zoom out and then you can extend it like this way that when you can zoom it like space page one i will show you detail when the, i start the development there is a development is, is there so i already did this level up in last year but i didn't have enough time to to share with you then that's why i i try to do now to to share with this then those technologies that i learned from the, my university or college and then in, even though in my professional life or my hobby jobs that's i mean so just just go this is one of the like like the gui part of the my software tools so here is the the swing gui ui you, if you saw this one you have a data uh, Data loading sections. There is a open file shape files. That's everybody knows the shape files as a, as a, as, a, as a vector formats and data. And then you can even do connect with the uh, connect to the PostGIS database. And then they have this possibility to connect other data storage. Doesn't matter is database from the Oracle or MySQL or other other or the JSON file or G JSON files. And and this is the possibility. Uh, you can this, this is the written software that I wrote it here that's why I'm trying to to share you with you how can you start uh, this those development uh, in the in the Java based development or the Java based GUI development for the Arc, um, GIS software developments so I will go you go through over all part of the sections but I here I give it to you how the GUI look like how it works and then how the possibility and the theoretical concept when I start the development then I will go there the development to, to look for that one how it works and how can you start this this the features so this is the the this is the same same GUI and that's the other functionalities. This is the just I I just did the, the UI part. I didn't include the all functionalities for the for the for the for the developments. There has a converter tools. You have a shape file. You can convert to the JSON, KML, and CSV. And even though you can automatically transform the PostGIS database to the KML and then PostGIS table to the CSV. That's the idea to, to 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 export it. Then after that, if you have a export format in JSON data or KML, JSON data you can simply call the JSON file into the open layer libraries or other or the Google Maps libraries and build a, your your map application. I have a many uh, many web applications based on the uh, Geo uh, Geo Geo Server and open layer on Uplets APIs and even the Google Google Map API. Just look for look for the our channels and then you can get many example based on that uh, how can you build uh, the web applications with the different format of data or different type of data integration with the with your web applications so this is the converter so that means if you have a json file you can go any any libraries any open source javascript libraries and build your maps and do the your functionalities in the web, web in the web web in, into the browser level so here if you have the kml file then that means you can build the kml file doesn't matter which data you try to build the kml's and then put this kml file into the google art and you can see the even though you can build the 3d models with the based on the google art there is a possibility to input your kml file to the google art and see exactly how the your infrastructure i mean infrastructure i mean your buildings or, or other infrastructure like your or base culverts and then you can see that really 30 3d forms how it's where it is located how it is located you can do the orientation also that the google art has a lot of possibility if you have if you try to generate or convert your your, your vector data as a, as a kml and then then after that you can put it this kml files into the into the google art or the google maps depending where you are if you have a json file then you build that just simply call the json file into the your javascript uh, into, into the your html or, or css files and build a 
uh, build example. I did it like uh, I did my did 